<sighs> Always and forever, Randy Travis. Been wanting to do this one in a, like for a while. Um, I've been wanting to talk about Randy Travis. I love Randy Travis. Now you got I Told You So, um, Forever and Ever Always, easily my favorite, um, Good Intentions. Uh, you got all these classics that, it's my favorite album. I, I know um, this is his second, but it's the one I know the most, and it's the one that I just love to listen to a lot. Uh, there's just something about this, uh, this record that, um, you know, he, he has people like um, Troy Seals and, you know, just uh, Merle Haggard and, uh, you know, classics, classics. Like My House, I Won't Need You Anymore, and just... Um, this is, I know this is, uh, 87, and like I've said, this is my favorite era of country, because country music had this kind of, kind of where it's a mixture of 80s, 80s rock pop, um, along with the country, like, kind of, like, sound. It's so good, like E.T. Oslin and Reba McIntyre, Alabama. Come on, Closer You Get, one of my favorite albums of all time. And, uh, you know, Conway Twitty, some of his albums are some of the best he's done. And Loretta, you know, uh, George with Jones, Com uh, Jones Country, and Who's Gonna Fill Their Shoes. Um, so it's the same thing with, with uh, Randy Travis. And <clears throat> it's sad with, you know, the health and everything. And just, he's awesome. And uh, an all-around classic album. It's an awesome one.